even though the ball ended up going in anyway. No foul on the play. Georgia Tech now or never time. Yellow Jackets trying to avoid a six-game losing streak. Sturdivant a three, and he's fouled. Hall commits the foul. That's the last thing you can do, because now Sturdivant's going to get three at the line. Maybe a little too pumped up, P.J. Hall. He immediately looks at Coach Brownell. It was my bad. Sturdivant is the best free throw shooter for Georgia Tech. 84%. Now that ends a 6-0 Clemson run over the last two minutes. Thursday night at 10 Eastern, women's basketball doubleheader, and then the nothing but net crew will break down the night in the ACC. You don't want to miss it right here on ACC Network. This game was 62-59, one possession game. Georgia Tech within striking distance like they've been in all five of their losses during this stretch. And Clemson down the stretch has made winning plays up until that P.J. Hall foul. Back to a two possession game. Shefflin takes a timeout. You gotta get open. Both Chase Hunter and Joe Girard were just staring at the ball. We'll step aside for Get 30 open, seconds. Jay. Get open. <laughs> the competition's never been better. I never let him do that. The stars have never been brighter. He's been toward 3,000 career points. Come on, Cameron Brink. Deja Kelly. Oh, that was pretty. Amor Magic. Some ruin tonight. There's no stopping us now. This is just spectacular. That's our move. Women's College Hoops on ESPN and ABC. The first year head coach, Damon Stoudemire, in the midst of a frustrating stretch. His team was 8-3 and three not too long ago with wins against Duke and Mississippi State. Now on a five-game losing streak, a minute 33 for making it a six-game losing streak. It, it's the same things down the right. stretch. It's not making winning plays. Size on the ball right here. Everybody guarding, face guarding, You're right? Probably switching here. You can't let the ball come in that easily. Both teams in a bonus. Georgia Tech does have one timeout. Clemson's got two. Possession arrow is with the Tigers. Kelly guarding Gerard. He has four fouls. Shot clock down to seven. Chaplin on the drive right to the rim. Missed it. And they're going to take a, a look at the monitor to see who it was off of last. That's the first time we've seen that set where Clemson's got one four low and bring the late ghost screen up from Shefflin. I think that was too slow developing play with the ball in Joe Girard's hands. Who touched it last? Paul or Dongo? The call on the floor was... Georgia Tech ball on the floor. But they pretty immediately went to, we're going to review. I mean, what an incredible crew we have tonight. Roger Ayers, Lee Cassell, and Lamar Simpson. This is a veteran group. I just don't know if they'll get a great look at this. The Clemson fans have been terrific tonight. ACC after dark, late night on a Tuesday night. Student section's been loud and proud all night long. And it is Georgia Tech ball. Clemson a couple of stops away from back-to-back -back wins and improving to 13-4 on the year. We'll con continue what's been a really strong season for this Tigers team. Joe Lenardi, as it stands, ESPN's bracketologist, has 
Clemson as a five seed. Georgia Tech, no field goals in the last three minutes and 13 seconds. Down the stretch during this losing streak, that's what's hurt them. More of the same tonight. Can they find a miracle here in the final minute? Reeves off the screen. Got a great look and drilled it. Kowasi Reeves cuts the lead in half. 52 seconds left, one possession game. That was great execution. Really nice screening action on the top of the floor there to allow Reeves to get open. George drives it hard down the right wing. And then you see it's Dongo with a great screen and then a roll to the rim to rebound. Really good timing and acceleration off that screen by Reeves. Does a good job of setting up Hunter. Damon Stoudemire uses his final timeout. And coming over from the NBA, first year head coach back in college. You asked him, do you manage the timeouts differently, NBA to college? He decides to use his final timeout to set the defense. Yeah, he, he really likes to see the players make some plays here late, right? He's, he's somewhat conservative about it, but he doesn't want to put too much pressure on them by calling timeout and making them feel like they got to do certain things. He likes the game to evolve and uh, he thinks his players have really good feel for situations. Clemson still with two timeouts and the possession arrow. They have the ball leading by three. And a couple of times tonight you felt like Clemson had an opportunity to deliver that knockout punch. And yet Georgia Tech has continued to battle. You gotta have a really good stop here by Georgia Tech because all five players on the floor are excellent free throw shooters. Shefflin would be the least, and he's at 74%. But he's the furthest away from the ball. Last, I think you play hard defense right here. Yeah, last thing you wanna do if you're Damon Stoudemire's foul. One possession game, need a stop. You gotta go inside to P.J. Hall. I think that's that would be an answer here and an option. That high-low game has definitely worked. Hall's got 28 points tonight. There they go is. right to him, missed it. Gets his own miss. And Georgia Tech, do you foul here or not? No, you play good D. Reeves decides to. There was a nine second separation from the shot clock and the game clock. Offensive rebounding all game for the Tigers. It's been a problem for Georgia Tech. And then you foul Joe Girard. I would have let the trap play out a little bit longer, Jay. Only 91% at the free throw line. <laughs> now, P.J. Hall, 28 points tonight, but that 13th rebound, which ties a career high, might have been the biggest thing he's done tonight. And we've used the phrase winning plays all night long. That was a winning play there for Hall. You gotta know where Reeves is. He's coming off that flare from Dongo. George takes it himself and buries it. I mean, you substitute out Joe Girard so you get a defensive player. Timeout, Brad Brownell. You put Clark in and he's in the game to not give up that three with some more length. A bigger defender. Georgia Tech has made 13 threes tonight compared to Clemson's three. That has kept them in this game. Hands down. The confidence of the freshman. That's a big time make on the road to keep your team in it going against one of the top teams of the ACC. 
you know, Tigers team that is 12 and four. Or they've got a great resume. I mean, the counters by both coaches, as you look at the resume there, Jay, yes. I mean, uh, five seed projection today by Joe Lenardi and all of their other numbers and metrics, analytics, however you want to look at it, are all excellent. And then with NC State's win over Wake Forest, it puts them, you know, highly in the conversation, right back in it. They should be in. I, I mean... Just remind everyone, the ACC is 9-3 and three against the Big 12, and they've had some quality wins, including a TCU win by Clemson. Well, those are the net rankings, and I think too much time talked about North Carolina and Duke. This league proves game in and game out. There's depth, there's quality in this league throughout. And you've seen that tonight. Georgia Tech has given Clemson everything they can handle. The Tigers clinging to a two-point lead. 12.8 seconds left. Tigers still have one timeout and the ball. Cut hard. Georgia Tech trying to get a steal right away. Then, then a foul. Foul comes in. Sends Chase Hunter to the foul line to shoot two. And this is where Clemson should be good at closing out games because of what we said before, their ability to put five good free throw shooters on the floor. Hunter three for three from the foul line tonight. He's 87% on the season. Now a chance to make it a two possession game. Miles Kelly comes back in for the Yellow Jackets. Regardless of this free throw, you don't need a three right away. I think you can extend the game by driving it quick. Miles Kelly, like I said in the first half, he only needs three, three and a half dribbles to go from one end to the other. Missed it, one possession game. Georgia Tech has life. Seven seconds left. George for the tie. Got it! Nathan George drills it. Timeout, Brad Brownell as the freshman phenom, fearless on the road, ties it at 71. Knowing time and score, and an understanding in a late game situation, that you did need a three, down three. Sturdivant drives it hard, and the fill behind by George. Aware of the clock, and he buries it. The poise. Fearless freshman. Only had three offers a year ago. This time a year ago, Seattle U, Corpus Christi, Sam Houston State. Now playing in the ACC as a 19-year-old, making plays like that after he had a career-high 17 points at Cameron Indoor over the weekend. He comes on the road here at Clemson, makes two big threes to tie this game at 71. Boy, in the body language for Clemson just went south. They put three more ticks back on the clock. So 2.6 to work with for Clemson. What do you do here? You, you got time for two dribbles and then a shot. And you you got to, I'm shuffling can run the baseline. If you can inbound it towards midcourt. If you're Georgia Tech, you want to make Clemson come back to the basketball, not a pass that goes over the top. Shefflin runs the baseline. Heaves it, and it's intercepted. Tongo throws it up. Oh, it almost went. And we are headed to overtime. Georgia Tech, a furious comeback to force overtime here at Clemson, tied at 71. 